for the STS-132 mission. Video. And before we undock from this International Core Space Station, I wanted to send this message to you so you could see Atlantis in service once again on behalf of the United States of America and all of the people that have built her and operated her for the last 25 years. This is her 32nd mission. She has traveled over 100 million miles and been in space nearly 300 days. And as you look out the window here, you can see the International Space Station in all her glory as Atlantis plays a part in the final days of completing her assembly. That's the PMA you can see out the window, which is the pressurized mating adapter. And then up above, you can see the truss and the front part of node two. And you can see how enormous the International Space Station is. And you can appreciate the role that Atlantis had in constructing this incredible, incredible ship. And in a moment, We'll cut away and I will bring you over to the International Space Station where we will look out of the cupola back at Atlantis docked. So come along. All right, here we are in the cupola of the International Space Station where we can get a great view at the whole bottom of Space Station, which of course includes a wonderful view of Atlantis. And there she is, near sunset, another sunset of the day. Her payload bay is almost empty. There you see the ICC with the old solar array batteries, and then the empty side of the ICC where there was an SGAN antenna, the EOTP, and the SGAN antenna boom. And of course, our primary mission objective, the MRM-1 module, is gone from the bay. And we can see it as you pan around the cupola to see there's the airlock going by and a solar array. And that module right there in the setting sun, brightly lit, is the MRM-1 module on Atlantis's uh, last payload. Here we are on the flight deck of Atlantis again with the entire STS-132 crew. And we have undocked from International Space Station yesterday, spent the day inspecting Atlantis's thermal protection system, and we didn't see anything wrong at all, which is no surprise. And tomorrow we're going to pack up the ship to come home to Florida the next day. I'm going to hand the mic to uh, Atlantis's pilot, Captain Select Tony Antonelli. Thanks, Hawk. Uh, Atlantis is uh, just a fabulous ship. Uh, she was a fabulous ship uh, in the beginning and uh, continues to be uh, just absolutely amazing. If this ends up uh, being Special Atlantis's last flight, we've got an American flag here that uh, we're honored to fly. Uh, this American flag flew on uh, Atlantis's uh, first flight, STS-51J, uh, and I'll hand the mic over to Navy Captain Steve Bowen. It's a real honor to be one, among the 191 crew members that have flown on Atlantis in her over 300 days in orbit, 120 million miles. Atlantis is actually named after a ship of research and discovery from a place I happen to study, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, and she has definitely learned up, lived up to her name over the past 20 years or so. Now, to Peter Sellers, who has done his own sets of research. Uh, Atlantis is absolutely my favorite shuttle. I've only flown on two, but she's still my favorite. Um, I hope that when she lands successfully, which I'm relying on these guys up front to do, that she goes somewhere and gets the respect she deserves as a ship of exploration. Uh, people like to visit ships like the Constellation, the Constitution, see where they've been and what they've done, and Atlantis is one of that line. Uh, I'm Garrett Reisman, mission specialist on this flight, and uh, when I was selected as an astronaut back in 1998, there were four of us in our class that were living in the Southern California area, and we got together to visit Atlantis. We were invited to come up while she was in for overhaul in Palmdale. And uh, when the four of us got together, one of the other astronauts uh, was also Tracy Caldwell, who was just with us on the space station. So we were reminiscing about this just the other night. 
And uh, we got together, saw Atlantis, and we all got so very excited about what we were about to do, uh, becoming astronauts. And seeing the tender, loving care that she was given there in Palmdale by all the people that worked on her, uh, it was hard to believe that here I would be uh, some 10 years later uh, flying on what could be her last flight. Uh, but she's been an amazing ship, and it's an honor to have served upon her. And here is uh, Air Force Colonel Retired Mike Good. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. Uh, I've been lucky enough to have two shuttle flights, uh, both of them on Atlantis, so it's also my favorite uh, space shuttle. Uh, Atlantis has been on uh, 32 flights now. Uh, we're on 32, number 32, and uh, perhaps the final flight of Atlantis. She's been to many different destinations. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to both the Hubble Space Telescope and to the space station. Uh, she's also been to Mir and many other different places. So she's well-traveled and she's uh, served uh, many of us well. And uh, we look forward to bringing her home safe and uh, going to visit her someday on the ground. So from the entire crew from STS-132, uh, thanks to Atlantis and all the folks that have worked on her over the years.